Hello and welcome back. Yes, we are back. Darling is currently out. Um, just over where the um, prickly pears are. Dusty just wanted to have a look at it, so well, yeah, we've got it out, took it over there, and you won't believe it, right? I saw Linda walking back from the store. She had just been to the store shopping. Just seen her on her way back. She goes, anything need doing? I said, well, yeah. Um, one of the fields need cultivating, the one you previously harvested. She's like, all right, then let me drop shopping off and uh, I'll get out and do it. So right now, Linda is out in the Oliver cultivating. Yeah, I know. I can't believe it either, but it is what it is. So uh, Linda's out cultivating. We will go and check on it in a moment. Uh, let's quickly go and check, make sure she's all right. Let's use our short, fat legs. Run over there. Do need to smooth that out. That really bugs me. And honestly, the amount of times I've smoothed it. Oh, the smoothness has stayed this time. This is what I always do. I always smooth it out. For some reason, it doesn't stay there. For some reason, now it has. Well, figure that one out, if you will. I have no idea. What's the runaway down here? We'll check Dusty's honey. Let's see how that's getting on. Oh, we've got one full pallet of honey and a little bit there. Very nice. Very nice. Always nice. I do need to get the mower out and come down here and get all this cut. Looks absolutely atrocious. Oh, she's there, is she? Okay. Must have heard me coming. Is it that little tree? I bet it is. Let's just do that. There we go. I'm going to have to get rid of that little tree. It's an absolute pain in the back end. Sorry, Linda. I know. I will get this tree cut down. Do I have a chain? I don't own a chainsaw. Oh, let's buy a chainsaw. Uh, we'll have the Husqvarna. There we go. Let's get this pesky tree cut out of the way. Get right down as low as we can. There we are. Uh, I got it, Linda. Don't panic. Look how strong I am. Look at this. Oh yeah, that dip, I forgot to tell you about that. In a little tractor, it's going to be an absolute nightmare. Let me just grab the front axle and pull a bit. There you go. There you are. Yeah, look at that, absolute nightmare. Let's quickly smooth that out with the old smoothing tool, because that is nightmare waiting to happen, that is. I was supposed to have done that. You can tell I'm smart and I take notice. <clears throat> Don't answer that. Right, there we go. Just smooth that off. Is that better? There's still a little few lumps in the ground. Look where... It's just absolutely hideous. I'll get this out of your way, Linda. Don't you panic. There we go. Look, look how strong I am, Linda. Look how strong I am. I would say look at the massive tree I'm holding, but it's not really that big, is it? Hmm? Uh, let's get this taken over here and out of the way. I'll just walk across here. I'm sure the owner won't mind. It'll be alright. Don't tell anyone. I won't. Just get this out of the way. Right. Uh, where can I throw it for now? I'll just throw it over here. Just chuck it down here. There we go. There we are. So there we go, Linda hard at work. As you can see, Darling is just round here. Dusty was uh, having a look at it. It's just round there. There it is. Absolutely gorgeous tractor. Absolutely beautiful. But right now, <coughs> yeah, 
we have a big job on our hands because I want to turn this grass into hay. Oh, I get oh, this is actually wider than I thought. Wow, it's a lot wider than I thought. We definitely need a windrower. Uh, yeah. Um, hmm. Uh, well, let's go. Let's get this all turned over into hay. Because we're going to need it. And I mean, if we can get things prepared now for when we do start TMR, I think that will put us in good stead ahead. So, best to be prepared now. Let's quickly swing around. Should be enough of a turn. Just to get that. Yes, it is. And we'll now we'll go around this little island. I hope Linda's doing okay, because that little pesky tree, there is still that little stump there we might end up having to cut out. Which is an absolute pain in the end because that's what caught me out but still I mean Linda's a big girl now she wipes her own bum as our saying goes Let's swing around there we are this is a lot wider than I was expecting but in a good way Oh, let's actually lift it up first before we start reversing here, there, and everywhere and break everything. No, because I'm smart like that. <clears throat> Don't answer that. <coughs> uh, let's grab this bit. We'll just have that little bit behind us. Just there. Again, we are going to need to buy a windrower. Just to get it into like beautiful little rows that's easy to pick up in the loading wagon. Oh, I missed that bit of grass there. How did I miss that? See, look, you can't leave me unsupervised. It's just should be against the law. When the short fat man's out, run for cover because something's probably going to go wrong. I can't believe I missed that bit of grass. Well, we'll have to get the mower out and uh, get that bit cut. There we are. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at us go. Making progress now and... Honestly, the fact that we're getting bigger and better machinery, yes, it's second hand, but it's new to us, isn't it, really? This type of big machinery. I'm extremely happy with it. Still bits of the grass. Is that bits of grass that have been missed, or...? It is. How have those bits of grass been missed? Has that been missed as well? It has. Why is this missing bits of grass? Hmm. Questions need to be asked. And that got it. Okay. Yeah, look everywhere we've been. Look, there's bits that's been missed. We can't be having that. I mean, is there any around this area? There isn't. Okay, we've got lucky with that bit then. But I don't understand why little bits have been missed. Hmm. That we've clearly been over. We'll just have to go over it again, I suppose. And then we'll have to have a quick check just to make sure. 
And that's a, it's just a little bit of a dip in the field, maybe? Hmm. Very strange. I don't know. Oh, I'm looking behind us. No, again, it's leaving little bits. Here. Here. There. There. Is that why they sold us this so cheap? It's got some dodgy tines. Hmm. Questions need to be asked. We'll get Linda on the case. Linda normally gets things sorted out. I mean, if I need anything doing with the council, I'll tell Linda and she's straight down there. It's absolutely beautiful. Linda gets it done. I go to the council, they do absolutely nothing. Linda goes to the council, and jeez. I bet the dread the day Linda walks in there to see her at the door, and they're like, oh no. Oh dear. But yeah, we'll get Linda on the case. Say, Linda, I brought this second hand. I think it's got some dodgy tines on it. Think you can have a word with the dealership for me? Maybe get a little bit of money off? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? There's no need for a dodgy, dodgy equipment. Cause, oh, look, it's done it again. Grass there, 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 there. I mean, look, we've definitely been over it, because... Hmm. Linda, you're going to have to have a word with them for me. Hmm. You get out of me grass, I've just caught this and teddied it. G yeah, you better back off. Yeah, you better. Wait, what, are you floating? Oh, it's nice to see we've still got floating... Di oh, no, you realised I was watching you. Get out me damn field. Go on. So gear and headbutt. Huh? Get out me damn field. Anyway, <laughs> pesky animals. So I'll tell you what though, farmers in real life, I do feel sorry for them because some of the stuff that they have to deal with with deer in their fields, boy, they don't have to eat some of the uh, farmers' old uh, crops. Oh. Gotta feel sorry for them. Right, is there any more that's going to be left behind? This is the second pass on this bit now. I mean, it is wide, so I don't really mind doing two passes, but still. It's going to be like this. We need a little bit of money off. And we'll get Linda on the case. Linda will get it sorted, I'm telling you. Alright, let's get that folded up. And let's just have a quick check. Everything folds up okay. It rolls fine. It's just... It's like a... Oh, let's see that tie in there. It looks a little bit bent. Ooh, Let's see if Linda can go down there for us. Go to the store and say, oi. It's old Mr. P. Dodgy tedder. Some of the times weren't right. I do think... That is it all done, hopefully, he says. Hmm. But I'm going to need a wind rower. Um, is there any in the bargains? No, there isn't. Of course there isn't. There's never anything in there when you need it. It's a wind rower. Um, 8.4 meters. That's not too bad. 8.5. You're 12. What do you go to? 105 grand. Jeez, you are expensive. Um. Do you know what? Let's go for this. The Vermeer. R2800. We'll buy that and we'll go to the store and pick it. Oh, jeez. I didn't, didn't change the spawn point again, everybody. 
delivery. They charged me eight hundred and forty-five pound to get that delivered here. Oh, jeez, daylight robbery. See everybody, just because I have a PC doesn't mean I can spawn things in over here when I want. Still have to pay for it. Ugh. Right, let's quickly. I completely forgot that I didn't move to spawn point again. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Jeez, chuck on my own spit. That's when you know you've got skill. Right, do that. Let's just quickly go and check. Oh, oh, I'm not going to leave the lights and the engine running. Let's turn the lights off and turn the engine off. See how Linda's getting on. We'll quickly uh, use our short fat legs. Run, look at how fast I am. Super fast boy. You got stuck over here again. You have. We'll grab the axle around. There we go. Wow, this field is horrible, isn't it? Let's try and smooth that bit out. And oh, jeez. This thing's just full. Of horrible parts. Just move this part of the field now. There we go. Let's move along the edge. Oh, she's going to hit that corner again. Is it going to be the same issue? Let's try and smooth it off for her. Let's smooth it off. Can she do it? We'll smooth it off. Let's move it around here and around here as well and here hopefully she doesn't get caught out again how's she getting on to say that was that there was Linda just getting used to it it does look like something, but literally, I put in course playing for some reason. It, it did this. I have no idea what was going on, but we'll just say it was Linda getting used to using this piece of machinery. I mean, it is old. Come on. I mean, what do you expect? It's old. All right, let's quickly tab through. There we go. We'll go and hook up to our windrower that I totally on purpose meant to spawn here for the store deliveries. <clears throat> I completely forgot. I was set to drive to the store. <coughs> I can't believe I forgot. Oh, look at that. Ooh. How's it lower? Ooh. Very nice. Uh, let's turn this way. Because by the looks of the weather, it does look like it is going to snow. So, uh, that's not a good sign. Can't really do a lot in winter. So, probably all of, whoops, probably all of January we are going to skip that month. Because it will probably just be all snow. And honestly, you just can't do anything in the darn snow. It's just horrible. But look how smart that is. Look at it, everyone. It's nice, isn't it? Still can't believe I forgot that bit of grass, but we'll leave that as a reminder. It will be the Mr. P's row of shame. You know, there's always one moment, and apparently I have loads of them. You know, I have that special talent. So we'll get a windrow around the edge done. Around the border. And then we'll do the up and down rows. Oh, I've just brought this. Don't break it. Jeez. 
No, my luck, I probably could. And I'm missing the edge of that. Come on, Mr. P. Where's your, where's your driving skills? Psh. Don't laugh, everybody, all right? And don't laugh. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, let's lift up. Getting a hint of deja vu in this field. Jeez. Yeah, here we go. But I tell you what, not a bad windrower, is it? I don't think I've ever used it, and if I have, it's probably not been that often. Certainly does, seems to be doing a good job. So we'll try and do up and down rows. So I'll try and say, stay as straight as I can. We'll have to go check on Linda again, make sure she isn't getting stuck, bless her. I mean, that field isn't the easiest. I mean, we have tried to level it out for her as best we can. With the old smoothing tool. Well, that can only do so much. <coughs> I mean, I'm sure she's got the hang of it. She's probably there with the tunes on. She has told me she does like listening to the old radio whilst driving. So what do you think she's listening to this time? Who knows? I say I do have a new device put in that tractor where you can use your Bluetooth earbuds for the radio. I know I'm high tech, right? So if you don't hear any music, it's probably because she's got her rear buds in. Just rocking away. It's an old tractor, but it doesn't mean you can't have a decent music system in there to listen. Who knows? Who knows what she's listening to? Only Linda. But have a guess. What do you think she's listening to? I'd probably say maybe she's listening to a bit of Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody. Because that is an absolute legend of a song. My darn nose is itching. What's that mean when your nose itches? I know the, uh, it's like the palms of your hand. If one itches, you're receiving money. If the other one itches, it means you're giving it away. Well, no, my luck, it'll be the one giving it away. Uh, let's get that. There we are. can't remember what an itchy nose means, apart from your nose itches. Before anyone goes in the comments, it's because you got an itchy nose, Mr. B. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I know what an itchy damn nose is. But it's like meanings, isn't there? Giving money, receiving money, good luck, and all that jazzy stuff. Can't remember what an itchy nose means. Hmm. Maybe it just means an itchy nose. Who knows? Jeez, and that didn't mean a rhyme, did it? You're doing a great Mr... <laughs> See, I can't even say great, great thing, Mr. P. See, I'm screwing up my own thing. Get out of my field. Get an headbutt. Good, you better keep running. Go on, Bambi. Get lost. Get out of my damn field. Trying to wait on me, hey, seriously. Cretins. Oh dear. Alright. You watch no my luck, I'll leave that big strip down there. Because I have a particular set of skills, and apparently forgetting to do stuff is one of them. But like I said, I think in the next episode we'll skip January because literally all it will do is snow. And that's just going to suck because there's nothing you can do. 
I will show you the field that I did plant with grass. It hasn't grown yet. It's still a dirty brown field with that texture on it. You know, the, the seeded texture. Oh, can we at least act like we can? Yeah, you better get out of my field. Go on, get running. But yeah, it's that uh, dirty brown texture with the, the seeded bit in it, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? If you know what that's from, let me know. Play it nice and cool, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. It's a classic. If you don't know it, you've been living under a rock. And it must be a big damn rock if you don't know it. Like, seriously, seriously big rock. Mm hmm. <coughs> I wonder if we will have time to click this in the loading wagon in this episode. Oh, it's all exciting and happening now, isn't it? Oh. We'll have to check. I don't think we will. Makes me sad. So I will have to collect it, and I'll get it put in the silo near the cow, uh, near the sheep. In that one, I'll get it put in there. Just makes life easier because it's already near them, and then we'll be able to give the sheep and the little babies some of that good stuff. Let's just close this up because this is done. I think I've done a fantastic job. 10 out of 10. You'd probably give me a 2 out of 10. But still, I think it's alright. I think it looks good. That's all that matters. Alright, don't pick on me. Alright, let's get this over here. <coughs> um, I'm looking forward to doing the sugar. So we can make some chocolate. Pull in. Uh, I know, John. I agree with you, buddy. I agree with you. Let's just pull this here. So the one with the red door is Darling's uh, area, so we will have to move this stuff out of the way. But let's uh, quickly go see how Linda's getting on. You all right, John? How's your knee? Yeah, knee... John fell over again. It wasn't my fault this time. He had too much drippy drippy and uh, got the wobbles and fell. <coughs> How are you lot doing? You lot are doing fine. Fantastic. I do want to make... Maybe look at looking into doing cloth and clothes and things like that. But... Uh, it's going to be a lot to do. I really need to cut down these bushes. A lot of people walk through, and I mean, how are you not got grass stains all over your trousers, mate? I have no idea. And you just walking down there, just... You're mad. Absolutely balmy. Just randomly walking through bushes. Like I said, I'll get the little ride-on lawnmower out and uh, come down here. Needs to be done. Oh, looks like Dusty's over there looking at the tractor again. Just see a glimpse. Looks like he's down there. I'll have to have a word with him about someone shouting at me through his window. That wasn't very nice. Wasn't expecting to get shouted at, that's for sure. He must have been out quickly and they went and, I don't know, he's got friends and company and they just see a random guy just walking in his field. I don't know. Hmm. This dude was keeping his eye on a, on his garden and that's always a good sign, isn't it? Right, where is Linda? Linda's there, okay. You're stuck in that dip again, didn't you? There's like a little divot. Oh, 
I'm coming. Let me grab the axle. Uh, a little bit. Uh, maybe, maybe it was these stones. Could have been these stones. Hmm. Maybe some big stones under this ground. I mean, I haven't ploughed it. Maybe we should. Hmm. That's a lot of stones. I mean, it's come out with an old stone picker. That is a lot of stone. Look at, look at all these stones. Jeez. The previous owner really didn't... I mean, look, the stones in this. Was there really this many stones when I did the harvest? I should say when Julie did the harvest, my bad. I could have really damaged the header, but we're going to have to check that. Huh. Something's got to be done about these stones. I think ploughing this field out would be good. Just ploughing it out, collecting stones. How much is... A stone picker. Uh, where are they? Stone pickers. I mean, there is the Scorpio. It's expensive, though, isn't it? Well, there's this big one. The Rock King. Doesn't hold that many, but... Hmm. I mean, there's the smaller one. What are we going to do with the rocks? Maybe just crush it and turn it into like lime or something? Use it as like chalk it. Oh, she's got stuck again over in the corner. I'm coming, Linda. Don't panic. I'm cut I see you trying. Just grab that axle again. There we go. Hmm. Bit of a dip here, but again, I do think it's maybe the stones. Not very good, is it? I mean, just some of the dips, even the cultivator is just not able to cut through. I mean, just look at the wobble on the tractor every now and again. To uh, see what Linda says, what it was like. You know, if she's the one driving. You know, did it seem a little bit uneven? Well, did it feel like it was dragging because of stones? Maybe some big rocks in the ground. We'll see what Linda says, and then we'll go from there. If she thinks it needs just a good plow in, then we'll do that. And or if there's, if she thinks, well, maybe she thinks it just needs plowing, or maybe we do need to plough it and then just do some rock picking this is a big field though it's going to take a lot of rock picking oh but anyway that is going to do for this one i hope you did enjoy it as always if you did please consider hitting that subscribe button hitting that like button slapping that notification button to get notified of any new videos on the channel till then have a great day stay safe and i'll see you all in the next one see you all then